I think it primarily impacted Chinese sellers the most. That combined with Walmart allowing international sellers, we saw like a huge uptick in the percent of Chinese sellers on Walmart. Still, sellers say Walmart remains more stringent than Amazon when it comes to approving new sellers. We're really proud of the track record of having high standards for sellers to get vetted before they get on the program. And we're gonna continue that. Another big way Walmart is enticing sellers, which Amazon can't match, is the opportunity to get products onto thousands of brick and mortar shelves. Because, you know, each store has to get, you know, so many cases in stock. I mean, it's like game over. If you're just like a, a private label seller, to be able to have your product in Walmart stores is like a holy grail. Our product was like at one point the number one in the category on Walmart.com. So we got an email from a Walmart buyer being like, you know, would you be interested in more talks? This year, for the first time, Walmart.com sellers were given first exclusive access to a program called Open Call, where sellers pitch their products for space on Walmart store shelves. Some 2,000 sellers applied. We've got a real mission to increase assortment. So it just made sense that when sellers are bringing high quality assortment, we want to make that available to our customers in our stores or online. Walmart's huge number of stores also makes it the undisputed king in grocery. Amazon bought Whole Foods in 2017 and is trying to disrupt the space by making two of them entirely cashierless, 